population can have significant economic implications. Here we will try to observe the dynamics of population by using the differential equations. So this uh, example contains a situation where there is population which is represented by n and it is the population of a small country and it is equal to 5 million currently. It means that the initial condition is 5 million. So this population is expected to grow at this rate that is dn over dt. Over time it grows with this certain rate which is modeled by this equation. So we try to solve it and get the time path that is the dynamic equilibrium of the population function. This is the given differential equation. We want to expand it and write it in a way which is comparable with the standard form. So we shifted this term to the left hand side and we got uh, on the right hand side something which is the value of B and this is the value of A. So now we are in that position where we can use the values of A and B and the initial condition to find out the kind of case that we are dealing with. Since uh, the value of B is 0, so it's a homogeneous case as well as the value of A is uh, negative which means that A is going to be a non-zero value. So uh, the thing is easy for us because we have homogeneous case in which the equilibrium value will be 0. So if we look at the formula of the definite solution it is this and we are emphasizing on these values that is the value of A and the initial condition so we have underlined them. In the next stage you can see the substitution which is happening in the standard way and the time path that we get is this. Now we can interpret it. So uh, we are going to um, see the components of it. The particular integral in this case is missing that is it is equal to 0. So uh, in, in other words the equilibrium will be at x-axis as we will see in the diagram and the complementary function is here highlighted. So we have to shed some light on the uh, complementary function. This part is the deviation from the equilibrium and this is the exponential growth over time. Now r is greater than 0 in this case because this value is a positive value. So Dever, uh, you can see that when we have uh, exponent uh, which is a positive value it means that we are dealing with a growth case that is the exponential growth and whenever there is exponential growth definitely the value the overall value of deviation will increase in other words we will move away from the equilibrium which definitely leads to divergence and definitely we can say that the st equilibrium is dynamically instable. So we are diverging away from the equilibrium in this case which should be uh, better understood by using this graph. If we start it from the bottom we can see that time is there on x-axis and we have on y-axis the population variable. So when we start plotting this graph we get such a situation that the graph starts from the negative x-axis and it rises as the deviation increases. So you can see the deviation is increasing throughout the uh, travel from left to right since this is the equilibrium level the particular equilibrium a particular function is equal to zero so all of it is the deviation and the deviation is increasing. So we can say that there is uh, the presence of divergence in this case. We can also do a policy problem uh, from the information that we have div uh, found in the form of the time path. Here we are considering that 
since the population variable is a significant variable when it comes to policy making we have the um, a question that we want to know when the population will reach this certain level that is what will be the time at that uh, stage so time is to be found whereas we are given the level of population so we are going to use this uh, time path that we developed and this is the level of population which is given in this case that we want to achieve whereas this value will remain the same and time is that variable that we are looking for that is that after what uh, uh, level of time the population will reach um, 10 million so this simplification will give us the value of this expression and we want to uh, get rid of exponent because we want to find the value of t that is time period so uh, we got the value of t which is this 46.2 and um, it shows that after 46.2 years we will reach the population of uh, 10 million from 5 million so it takes about 46.2 years for the population to get double so in in this case we are capable of uh, uh, knowing that certain time period in which the population can grow to a certain level it may be twice or thrice or more or less so this is how this time path can be of uh, importance for the from the policy perspective thank you